Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, last week I did a video on Mate, how to get everything all set up and uh, configured on your desktop, and somebody asked this really good question in the comments. Who does Mate better? Is it Ubuntu or is it Linux Mint? Now, there's probably a lot of other people that do Mate very well also, but uh, I'm going to do a comparative today. Let's have a look at who actually runs the desktop better. Now, when we do this, what we're going to look at is we are actually going to look at, um, we're going to look at it just off of the live key. I do have Ubuntu Mate installed on one of my virtual machines. I do not have Linux Mint installed, uh, but just so that we're not comparing a live key to a um, to an install, I just thought it'd be the, the best overall if we just look at it as the live distribution. Now, for the most part, we're going to have a lot of similarities. Um, of course, uh, Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, and so we're going to expect that several of the things are going to be uh, similar between the two. But with that being said, let's just go ahead and have a look. And we're going to start in Ubuntu Mate, which is probably one of the gold standards of running Ubuntu. So this is the most recent version. So this is um, actually it's not if 19 is out by now. Um, I don't remember if it is. I don't think it is. So uh, this is 18. I think it's 1810. Uh, it might be 1804. Um, but regardless, uh, here we have Ubuntu set up. Now, um, there's going to be some basic stylistic differences by default out of the box. Ubuntu always has two panels, one on the top and one on the bottom for running Mate. Mostly it's just because Ubuntu uh, has the trademark top panel, which is set up and configured very much like a Mac. We do have the bottom panel uh, because they use this for if you... Uh, create a new application. You will have your task list at the bottom, uh, which some people really like that being down there. And so I think that's why they've given us given us that. So as far as your menus, um, we do have the basic menu set up here. And you can just kind of see that it has all of the various tools that we would expect. We have a control center. This is going to be similar between the two. Uh, we will have your Ubuntu basic tools such as your uh, drivers and let's have a look at uh, as well. This one has uh, Kaja as your um, file manager. So this is your basic setup. Now, so the places that they're going to differ is what type of applications are going to be built on uh, out of the box. Now. Ubuntu does have a minimal option. I do not recall if that is also something that the uh, the Ubuntu Mate version has as well. I think it does. Um, one of your basic differences is going to be your software installer. So Linux Mint has its own software installer tool. Um, uh, Ubuntu Mate has a software boutique. So some of this is going to depend which is your preference. Do you prefer the Boutique or do you prefer the Linux Mint software installer? We have other things like our drivers. That's going to be in, found in both of them. Your backups, a lot of your basic tools and packages are going to be in both of them. We do have a welcome screen in, uh, in Ubuntu Mate here, which is going to contain the various different aspects. Um, hold, hold on. That was a very crummy welcome screen, except the fact that I think I clicked close too quick. <laughs> Let's go ahead and have a look at that again. All right, so here we're going to hit the continue, not the close. And here we have um, the various ways to help support the project. And if you are using Ubuntu Mate, please donate and uh, help, the, help support the developers. That definitely helps them out. We have installation help. We have introductions. Um, this is, of course, the installer. Uh, it's giving us the installer. Um, and the other thing that we are going to find that is going to be completely different is what type of um, what type of layouts we have available to us. So let's go ahead and go into our uh, look and feel. And inside of our look and feel, we will have a variety of different options inside of here. So the one is the um, 
I'm just gonna look at the different theming setup options here. So here's your basic theming setup options. With Ubuntu, we have our basic Ubuntu build, which, um, which you're gonna find to give you your basic Ubuntu setup interfacing. There's some that you will find installed in most Mate builds. A lot of these are. They do look kind of older depending on uh, what your thoughts and, uh, and abilities uh, happen to be. And then the other place I'm looking for again, I gotta remember where it is, is your, um, uh, your general layout. So here's your panel. You'll remember this from the video where we looked at the various um, your various setups. Now Ubuntu Mate used to have the traditional layout which gives you this shorter application menu of various places and your system resources here. Some people really uh, like and prefer this one. Some people really like the um, I think it's the Redmond, I think, was the setup that's just like your Windows setup. So, of course, this has your uh, more expanded uh, advanced menu here as well, searchability, and then we have all of the system tools and things over here. This is the one that a lot of people really like. But we have the easy ability to swap between the, the, the two of them. Uh, what I found personally, um, I used to run Ubuntu Mate as my backup computer, and I found that for me it had a few more bugs than I was comfortable with. Um, I never liked the software Boutique, however that was back in the older version. This newer version of it is definitely a lot better than it used to be. Um, you can much uh, much easier sort things. Um, this this tool used to be so bad I would actually go into the terminal and install the Ubuntu Software Center. Um, this was back before um, uh, back before um, Ubuntu 17 and uh, I really didn't like this before. It is definitely a much better system now. Uh, so as far as your package manager uh, from your GUI package manager um, I don't really have any any gripes about it one way or the other. It definitely is a lot better than it was. Uh, they showed some market improvement in it. And everything else in the layout seems to work pretty good. So I don't really have any, any serious gripes with Ubuntu Mate. But let's go ahead and have a look now at Linux Mint Mate and see who might actually do it better. Okay, so now on Linux Mint Mate, we are already set up out of the box with the more Redmond traditional display, which makes sense because this is the layout that Linux Mint generally always uses. We do have our advanced menu already set up and configured by default, and so we already are essentially where a lot of people do set it up, but not everybody. Now, one of the downsides of this is that if you have a look at our look and feel, we do not have our panel settings already here. So in other words, where is Ubuntu Mate, if you really like the old layout, you like the traditional layout, you like the Redmond, you wanna experiment with some of the other ones, we have a lot of configurations that we have. This does not have that built into it. I'm sure you can actually add it. You can definitely still manually adjust your panels, add panels and things like that. But the, the reality is we don't have the ability to edit and adjust our panels uh, as easily as we do on Ubuntu Mate. And so while we do have a better welcome screen, we have a lot of your other Linux Mint tools that are not on Ubuntu, like your um, USB image stick writer and your Linux Mint software manager. Uh, these are actually things that really, um, really make Linux Mint stand out, uh, that their software manager is definitely quite a bit better than you get in a lot of other places. Uh, you have um, uh, you have your uh, your terminal applications built in now. Of course, in the boutique, you can select the option to enable those. Um, but we have uh, system tools, we have offices. You can see all the different settings and and functions and features. And also, what Linux Mint does is, if you do like the flat packs, it will actually show these. Now, my networking is not enabled on this uh, virtual machine right now, so that's why it's not showing us anything. Uh, the downside, though, is if you don't like flat packs, um, you can't actually disable them uh, from the Linux Mint system. 
uh, versus on the Ubuntu, you can remove the snaps if you really want to, at least on Ubuntu Mate. So there is definitely some advantage of going either way. As far as your major differences, uh, there's really not a ton. It does still use Kaja as the file manager. Um, really your, your critical differences is we don't have the panel setting options out of default. However, one of the things that um, Linux Mint uh, Mate has that Ubuntu doesn't is we already have the Compiz config settings manager already installed. So uh, I don't know, maybe there's more, maybe there's less configuration depending on which ones you actually want. The other thing is uh, Linux Mint does have a much better welcome screen. Um, in my opinion, we have all of the different settings here. Just come right in here, your first steps, launch your snapshots, launch your driver, install your multimedia codecs, run your update manager, uh, system settings, and things like that. So we have a variety of different settings and options inside of here. Uh, as far as uh, other other options, desktop options, and things like that. Everything else is going to be the same. We're probably going to get a few more backgrounds with Ubuntu, uh, excuse me, with Linux Mint that we didn't have just because the Linux Mint team always curates a lot of backgrounds with your system. So as far as which one of these is going to be better or worse, I really think it just comes on down to your personal preference. Um, having run both Linux Mint Mate and Ubuntu Mate as the same exact background setup. I've had less issues with Linux Mint, but it has not been perfectly flawless either. Both cases, I'll have issues uh, managing and altering my, um, my backup systems. I'll have things like Kaja will crash occasionally. Um, that's okay. Um, closing it down and restarting it seems to work. I do like the layout a little bit better. Uh, in this, but again, you can set the layouts any way that you want. As far as our basic theming, that's another thing that we looked at. Um, as far as looking at our look and feel, looking at our appearances, we do have, I think we should have most, uh, it looks like actually we have all, we have different theming here. So they have stripped out all of the old theming that you get inside of Ubuntu Mate and just given us a variety of Linux Mint theming. So if you don't like the Linux Mint theming, you will probably not be impressed. If you like the Linux Mint theming, you will be impressed. Again, it just kind of boils down to, to some basics. They're both based on effectively the same package sources. Of course, Ubuntu Mate is going to have the latest versus Linux Mint Mate is always going to default back to the latest version of the latest Ubuntu LTS. What does that mean? Well, it means that you're not going to have the newer packages on Linux Mint versus on Ubuntu if you're rolling with the current releases. So that is it. Who does Mate better? Honestly, I think it's kind of a draw. It really depends on what your interests are. What do you want for your layout options? Which packages do you like the best? I personally prefer the Linux Mint just because I like the stability of it. I found it to be more stable than Ubuntu Mate when I've run it on real hardware on the different instances. In fact, the reason I'm running uh, Linux Mint Mate is because the entire system I had crashed down when my computer crashed out last year uh, and fried all the hard drives and having to rebuild. There were enough issues that I had with the Ubuntu version that I went with the Linux Mint version and I don't really have a need to uh, jump off of that anytime soon. I'm going to personally call this a draw, but for you, it's just going to depend on your individual preference. So hopefully this was an, an interest, to, uh, interest to you. And uh, let me know, do you like these types of comparison videos? Uh, what else should I done for a comparison video? And uh, we'll kind of keep that up uh, in future, uh, future comments. So if you want to help support the channel, have a look at the links either right above me or in the description down below. And follow on social media if you want some of the latest updates. Thanks for coming along and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.